Good morning guys and welcome back to a new weekly vlog. I feel like I'm talking really quietly because it just feels so so early. It definitely feels like winter is approaching. I've got the lights on, it feels gloomy. I actually think I've got a bit of a sore throat because I've left the windows open and it's getting colder. So I have a really lovely, exciting, productive week this week i feel like things are picking up with for the new season which is really fun so i thought i would start the vlog off quite wholesome with showing you how i make my coconut kefir chia pudding and i also wanted to talk to you through some supplements that i've been taking as you may have saw i went to the organic pharmacy to go and get some tests done if you didn't see that i'll leave it down below it's super super interesting what was amazing about it is that they direct me in the right way with what supplements I need to take um, on a daily basis. So I thought I'd quickly show you the ones that I have. So what I did love about going to the organic pharmacy is knowing specifically what I need for personally me. And I found that really interesting because it just removed the anxiety and the overwhelming of how many products I do actually need. I do love the Wild Nutrition, their Woman Daily tablet. Also as well, the Garden of Life, they have one as well, which I'll leave down below, where it's like an all-in-one mineral vitamin tablet, which I think is super handy. And with my job, I very gratefully get overwhelmed with the amount of supplements and products. So it's just really nice to kind of actually find out what I actually generally need. So I came away with three products, one being the Magnesium Stress Complex. I think this is incredible for anybody to take daily. Vitamin D and zinc contribute to the normal function of the immune system. Calcium and magnesium contribute to normal energy yielding metabolism. Calcium, magnesium and vitamin D contribute to a normal muscle function. And magnesium contributes to a normal functioning of the nervous system and reduction of tiredness and fatigue. But it's also really good for sleep as well. And then I also take two daily probiotics, really good for your gut. And for my hormones, one thing that the lovely practitioners recommend is the Agnes Castus tincture. And what I do is with my water or my smoothies, I just put it in and it says to put in, to put in 10 drops per serving. So you do this in the morning and at night time. It doesn't have a weird taste, it actually tastes quite nice. Quite just like herbal, it's really lovely. So that's what I've been doing. I actually have two of my probiotics. Okay, like I said, I'm going to be making the chia pudding with you. So I've done a very cute little setup. So what you're going to need is just kind of like a container. This is the organic coconut kefir, chia seeds, flax seeds and designated coconut. I think this is a tablespoon, it's just like a little scoop and it just makes it easier to do the measuring. Okay, so firstly I do one scoop of chia seeds, one scoop of designated coconut, and then this is um, grounded flax seeds. I blended this myself just in a smoothie machine and this is really good for hormones. I've been using the Coconut Organics Kefir. I kind of do like a double ratio and then just mix it in. I use this for measuring some water and that just helps loosen it. That's the consistency I want when it's set, so I'm going to add a little bit more water. I don't measure it too much, you can find measurements on Google. However, I just, I'm very much, I just do it by eye, and then I just keep checking in on it. That's how it looks, I feel like that's a good consistency. So I'm going to leave that in the fridge to set for 10 minutes, you can do it overnight as well. Um, but it doesn't actually need that long, so yeah, I'd say 10 minutes, and then it's good to have for breakfast. And that is how I make my little chia pudding. Mm, topped up with peanut butter, blueberries, designated coconut, and cinnamon. <laughs> the peanut butter is stuck to the roof of my mouth. But yeah, so easy, so delicious. I will leave the recipe down below, but definitely check it out on Google as well because maybe someone makes it better, but that's just how, this is just how I make it. 
Okay, I am just about to head out the door as I am now going to my next meeting, which is with the Nukes team. I am very kindly getting my hair done, which is very exciting. So it meant that I didn't have to do it today, which is just delightful. Um, but yeah, I just had a really exciting meeting about tomorrow, which I'll talk to you about. But I'm just in a very neutral outfit. Got my Gucci loafers on, really lovely Massimo Duty skirt. Trench is from And Other Stories, and then I've got like a little sleeveless jumper on and my Pelene bag. But yeah, let's go and get my hair done. What a lovely way to start the week. It's made with extra from different types of oil, which is the main one is the Camille oil. Camille oil. Okay. Camille oil. Yeah. And then they've got these properties of, um, yeah. basically like, uh, they construct. Oh, yeah. wow, that smells amazing. It smells really good. Yeah. It smells like body oil. Yeah, no, they, 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 really the, nice. the, the brand itself, they've got like, yeah. big problems from other people. Yeah. Oil, yeah. And then, so, I think following, like, the popularity of the product, they start to call them like, wow. yeah. yeah. And would you do this every time, you wash your hair? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Of them. Probably you can, but like following like the condition, maybe like pretty like in a um, good condition, maybe like keep it for less time because it can be still out, so it can be quite like, Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can again, it's still out, so cannot really do many like yeah. mess with the hair, more than give like, extra moisture, let's say. Yeah. So, you can definitely do it every time, I would suggest it for a method of like uh, build up. Yeah, you know, okay. So. divine my hair feels so good and so smooth i've actually come away with the products as well so i get to trial them out um over the next coming weeks which is lovely you know i'm a big fan of their dry body oil so it is an absolute treat to have it on my hair as well i literally smell like a summer holiday it is divine right i am now in stone square central just coming to pick up a couple of bits for tomorrow's shoot and then also as well I'm meeting my friend to have a little bit of a meeting so a busy crammed in day today but I'm gonna first go into Jigsaw to see what is new in. lovely productive morning I have had a proper run around I firstly went to Nukes which was a really lovely hairdressing appointment to trial out their new shampoos and conditioners and their gorgeous pre shampoo nourishing mask really really lovely products and very excited to keep testing them over the next few weeks and see how I like them I adore their dry body oil as you may know so I am so excited to give their hair products a go I absolutely love how my hair feels and smells because I love their Nukes dry body oil. I literally smell like a holiday. It's just so incredible. So I'll leave the products down below. But then popped into Jigsaw to go and pick up a card holder which should be arriving tomorrow. Um, a really lovely caramel croc one which I just thought was really lovely for this time of year and then I actually got talking to one of the ladies who worked at Jigsaw we just had the loveliest time we ended up doing a bit of a personal styling experience and we were just talking about our industry and it was just really lovely she was such a lovely lady I then had another meeting and I literally before my meeting got stung by a wasp I honestly I've never been stung by a wasp I don't think I've been stung by a bee but I've never been stung by a wasp but it was so I was in such a rush I didn't actually acknowledge the pain until later and I sat down in my meeting and I was like 
my arm just blew up so I had to run across the road and go and get some antihistamine but all is good and it was a really exciting lovely meeting I then went in to Massimo Duty. I don't know if I've told you this already but I have got a really exciting shoot tomorrow so I picked up some pieces that I thought would do quite well in my transitional wardrobe now and for the shoot so I thought I'd quickly show you what I picked up I picked up a couple of tops some tops that I thought were going to be really perfect for every season to be honest but I really wanted to invest into some really good quality pieces so the first one is this lovely baby blue cotton shirt but it's got this like silk something's in it where it's so silky smooth it's so beautiful I feel like Massimo Duty do really well with their fits as well I got this in an extra small and I just thought it was a really lovely top also as well everything else but it was just such a lovely quality material that I just couldn't miss it I did go into Zara to have a look at shirts but the quality just wasn't as good so I picked up this one because I just thought it was very beautiful the color was stunning and again, like I said, the material was just really lovely. To continue with shirts, I then actually picked it up in a silk material. This was just so beautiful and something that I thought was really, really missing from my wardrobe. Because I feel like silk shirts are a bit more nicer to wear than cotton ones because they don't crease as much. And they just elevate an outfit so much. This would be so lovely with a pair of tailored trousers for during the day and also like in the evening I thought would be really lovely as well with a red lip would look gorgeous so I picked this one up again in an extra small and in the silk material it was £59.99 but just love this I thought tailor trousers really nice belt matching bag and some heels would look divine I then picked up just a classic ribbed top what I liked about this one is was it was a little bit looser so I felt like it just gave this effortless feel to an outfit and for the outfits which look a little bit too formal and then just a little tank like this underneath is just going to really elevate it down and just make it look very effortlessly chic and a bit more cooler so pick this up in an extra small and then last but not least I picked up a military style trench I really liked this one I've been on the hunt for a green trench for a while now and I loved this cropped one I thought it was really pretty and would work really well with my wardrobe I just loved that it wasn't the style of a trench but it's got the material of a trench but it's more of a bit more of a utility look so I feel like it'd be a bit more wearable for indoors as well and it's in this really lovely khaki like a soft khaki color which I thought was really pretty and this was £149 and I picked it up in an extra small again. Really love these pieces. So I don't want to bombard you with too many outfits and too many pieces. But here and there I'll just show you bits and bobs. I am now going to quickly organise some pieces to style for tomorrow. As like I said I'm doing a really exciting photo shoot kind of video interview with LTK. And I'm going to be talking about fashion, beauty and wellness so i want to do a hour or so of prep before tonight because i really want to wind down tonight i need to learn how to wind down so i need to do that before my pilates class this evening so i'm going to put the camera on charge and then i will get back to you when i've kind of accumulated what i think i'm going to be taking with me to the shoot tomorrow and then I'll take you behind the scenes for it as well. So that would be very exciting. Hello guys, I've just got back from Pilates. I just had a really lovely call with my friend Tula. And I'm just making a quick dinner. Yesterday I did a bit of meal prep. I made the most delightful, easiest meal prep. I roasted a whole chicken and then I did a couple of sweet potatoes around the side. Just so that I have food for during the week. And then with the leftover oils and like the stock, so it's kind of like chicken broth, I then cooked rice in it. So then I've made a delicious uh, batch of chicken stock rice and it is divine and it's crispy as well because I baked it and oh my goodness. So it's just been something that I've been doing recently to just keep myself accountable of making sure that I am um, just like have food ready and on the go it just makes things a lot easier I picked up this really lovely ramekin which is like this really lovely glass one with white silicone and I just thought it was really lovely they have these in 
bowls and um, different sizes um and then yeah and then i've just been to pilates and now just cooking up a quick dinner and i'm gonna watch sex in the city i've just been prepping all my outfits for tomorrow which has been really good as well so i feel very very kind of organized which is quite nice but the house doesn't look it um so i put you this way because this side is just a little bit too crazy for my liking that is all i wanted just a quick and easy chicken rice and broccoli put that all together in like 10 minutes which was delightful so i'm gonna eat this watch sex and city and get an early night's sleep so i feel good tomorrow Good morning guys, it is the next day now. I have just been getting myself ready for this afternoon's shoot. I only found out that it's actually only one to three today, so that's actually quite nice. I was a bit nervous it was gonna be like a full day of shooting, so I was a bit overwhelmed with what I had to do. But it's only two hours, which is really lovely. And we're going to be doing a couple of series within the filming of the two hours. So we're first going to be doing a what's in my bag, going to be doing a kind of like a day in the life, like what I've been up to and things like that. And then also I think we're going to be doing some styling. So I've decided to pick two outfits just not to go overboard as I've got already a couple of content pieces anyway. So it's going to have to balance out with the wellness and the beauty side. So I've organised my outfits behind me and I will probably go through those with you when I'm actually on set. I just didn't want to repeat myself so if I don't show it then I'll probably show it later or tomorrow. Like I said I'm doing a bag unboxing and I thought this was perfect for the arrival of my new bag which I'm so excited for and I think it's going to be the cutest and idyllic autumnal bag. I am so excited. So I thought I'd actually unbox this with you and show you what I picked up. So it's from a beautiful brand called Pauline Paris, a brand that I've adored for a very long time. And if you are looking to invest into a higher end brand, but you want the craftsmanship and a bit more of the affordability, I would really recommend Pauline Paris. I have had the honour to have a few bags in the past as well as I have been very kindly invited along to their stores in Paris to pick a bag out and I picked out a bag for autumn because it was something that I needed in my wardrobe. I was inspired by Holes with she's got it in a white and I just thought it was just the perfect size for just kind of like every day but it's not overwhelmingly big. So this is her as we all know brown is a big trending color for this season and i love brown you know i love brown i if if there's going to be a color in my color palette palette it would be brown or olive green i just love the muted tones of these colors i just think they are so divine i picked this up because of my obviously being my favorite color but also as well i just thought this was just missing in my wardrobe i have quite a lot of you may have seen i've got a chocolate brown um beret bag from Pauline, but i don't have a <laughs> i'm teasing you i don't have a camel colored one and i have a really lovely camel colored celine belt and i feel like this color is just going to work so well with really beautiful muted colors dark green i feel like this is just going to be so perfect so this is the Pauline paris and i have it in the classic size it also comes in a mini as well but i picked it up in this really gorgeous this camel grained leather beautiful bag i absolutely love it as you can see it's a really good size as well and i just love the details you can get it in a smaller version and also a micro version as well which is so so precious but i just thought this would be perfect for every day it's not white it's not black um it's just another accent of color i can add to my very monochrome look just to elevate it a little bit and i just thought it was beautiful it also does come it also does come with a strap that you can put on as well so you can do cross body i'll probably just have it more so over my arm like this it's just such a good bag and i usually take so much with me my vlogging camera bits and pops like that and this is just 
going to be a perfection. So I'm going to pack this with you now for the LTK shoot as I'm about to leave in 40 minutes. So I thought I'd do that with you, whilst I've also got some really lovely pieces um, sent over to me just so they're fresh and topped up and look very presentable for the shoot. Okay, this is what my table is looking like at the moment. Just got everything out so I can see it. I've made a list just so I'm ready and I don't forget anything. But I have received some really lovely deliveries. I've just kind of laid out some of my favorite products as well as I've been very kindly sent over some top ups just so everything looks very neat and snazzy for the photo shoot. So I have my bag, which is from Summer Fridays. This is just such a lovely bag. Ooh, nearly goes. Tones nearly, 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 nearly match. <laughs> but this is my in bag cosmetic bag I just think it's really lovely put together very sleek so I'm going to fill it up with my usual pieces so I thought I'd quickly show you what you have so usually in my bag I have a comb this is from silk I have my airpods I always 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 carry some mints and my hand sanitizer like I said I've then just received a really lovely top up of some of my favorite products so this is definitely going in there this is the sarah chapman hand cream i've then got a top up of my summer fridays lip balm and this is in the shade latte this is an absolute hero and you can see i've actually got one of my other favorite products from summer friday fridays which is their jet lag mask this is their hydration mist this is just insane and just perfect for on the go and topping up your your hydration on your skin if your skin is feeling a little dry this is just a godsend always carry my hourglass compact press powder this is really handy it's got a mirror in as well I've got some other bits and bobs so here's my lip liner i do need to give it like a little bit of a zhuzh and then my lip oil this is in the shade pattaya Fragrance wise, you know I'm a big fan of the Fleur Vanilla Skin. This is the Body and Hair Mist. And then I've also got the Fleur Missing Person. But I've also been sent, I completely forgot about this one. And I didn't know they had it in this really lovely travel size. I told the girls that I was kind of doing a what I have in my bag. And they remembered I loved this fragrance from Diptyque. So this is the Papier fragrance. This is Divine. But it comes in a little balm. Two hands for that. But this is a balm. And that's so precious. I did not know they did that. That is such a lovely gift. If you've got friends or family who love Diptyque fragrances. I believe this probably is a bit more affordable than buying someone a fragrance. That is such a good gift. So handy just to have in your bag. I mean, is that not the cutest thing to have in your handbag? And then I thought I'd quickly show you some other pieces that I was kindly sent over. I was very kindly sent over a top up of my Nukes Golden Body Shimmer, as well as this tiny mini travel size, which I think is insane for holidays. Also as well, the Mecca Cosmetics. This is one of my favorite SPF brands in a bit of a travel size. And this is essential. I haven't got one. I haven't had one of these in ages and I need it, especially when we're going into the bit more of a cooler winter months. This is the Manicurist Cuticle Oil. And I've been sent some Vida Glow Collagen, which are really delicious. Um, and they're in the little sachets. I have the unflavored ones, which I love the most. Um, but they've got these mixed berry ones as well which are quite cute. And then other bits I've topped up on is the Clarence Double Serum and also a mini version of the By Terry Tea to Tan, which is heavenly. Um, and I'm so over, over the moon, it comes in a small size like this. So if you've got any holidays or weddings, these are like the perfect size. So I'll leave the travel size products down below as well. And then whilst I'm here, I've just received some really lovely pieces from a couple of jewelry brands. This, these are from Heaven Mayhem, and look at the color of these. These are just divine. And then also from a really gorgeous brand, Anissa Sokcha. I will leave her down below. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And they kindly sent me some hair toggles. These are just absolutely stunning. So I want to feature these in kind of like what's new in my wardrobe because I think these are really lovely when you've got your hair up just to have something to really elevate that kind of like messy bun look. And then I received some really lovely earrings. I've already put a pair of earrings in, which I'll show you later. But yeah, I received some really lovely pieces. So 
very honoured to be sent all of these pieces, especially for today. Um, so I am going to get this all packed and I'll leave everything down below. I am ready to go, so I thought I'd quickly show you my first outfit for today. It's very cute. So I had to obviously wear the Sinead O'Keary little blouse. I just love the puffy sleeves. I just oh, obsessed. Then I've just got my And Other Stories dark denim jeans on. I feel like these are just going to be perfect for autumn and paired with the brown caramel colours are just going to be stunning. And I've just got my Adidas trainers on as I'm walking um, but I will be putting on some heels. And yeah, this is my first outfit of the day. And then I've actually got some of the earrings in. I've got these really beautiful circle ones in. I love these so much. These are beautiful. So yeah, that is my attire for today. what's in my bag okay. especially as I've just got a new bag which is stunning oh Pauline Paris <laughs> Hello guys, it is a little later now. I have been running around a little bit like a headless chicken. I didn't film that much at the LTK shoot because I was so overwhelmed with how much we had to do, wanted to make sure that I spoke properly, got everything I wanted to get across very well because it was like an interview which was amazing and we talked about style, what was in my bag and wellness and I just was a little bit overwhelmed so I left a couple of clips but we were in the most oh my god in the most incredible house I actually cannot fathom how beautiful that house was and how inspiring it was I just the colors and how she did it all was just incredible it was actually one of the girls who works at LTK it was her house and she just she took me on a tour and I would have loved to take you on a tour but it wasn't my house and I just felt a little bit rude but anyway it was a really really good day and really productive and then I've just come and come home and filmed some bits and bobs and I've got myself ready as I'm about to head out the door again as I'm off to a Givenchy uh, new fragrance launch which is really lovely. I thought, Stanley Cup coming in handy, I thought I would quickly show you a little outfit of the day. Excuse, it's not that messy but there's bits and bobs behind me. I've decided to go for quite a chilled easy look because it's just a couple of hours and i just want to pop my head in see the team it is a tuesday night and that's why i'm saying it because i am i'm a little bit tired i'm not gonna lie so i have just gone for a very easy monochrome look i have just received my frankie shop black blazer it's something that i've been lusting over for a while and i did it i just picked it out because i love the brown one and i bought it and i'm just so 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 happy with it. I've then gone for a very like 
easy look with my Massimo Duty uh, vest. It's kind of like a loose vest, which I quite like, and it's quite low neck here. And then, so yeah, so then I've gone for a Massimo Duty vest, and then I've just paired it with a really nice, like, silk skirt. It's got, like, a touch of, like, a creamy pink in it. It's really lovely. This is from H&M. And then I've just got my Russell and Bromley black court heels. They're just super easy and super comfortable. I also received a really lovely delivery from a very beautiful independent brand, which I actually cannot kid you, they are the most beautiful pieces ever. Now coming back here, I do believe I have already shown you these pieces. Lovely lady called Anissa, her brand, and it's just so beautiful. So I kindly was able to pick out a couple of pieces, and the earrings I'm wearing, I've just seen the 12 earrings are in collaboration with Julia. And then I also picked up some bangles for my hair, I just thought that'd be really lovely. But yeah, I'm actually wearing the 12 earrings. They are incredible and they are in collaboration with a lovely lady called Juliet, which i will also leave down below but just really lovely pieces just to really elevate quite a simple minimal outfit just very very minimal very demure um so yeah so that is my attire for today anyway let's go to a lovely event with Didi Bronchi. i'm with harley we've just arrived at the event we're outside taking photos and it is just about to chuck it down. It's just classic English weather now. Um, but we'll go ahead in. And we're in very similar outfits. I love, we always match, and I love it about us. Um, I'm in a little silky skirt and a ribbed vest. And then Hollis is actually in, oh! <laughs> Hello there, sir! I'm in this like Sandro, cool. nighty kind of vibe. Really nice, we're matching. Very, very cute. head out for a event with Franny Deary which is really exciting I've always wanted to meet her and try out her matcha so we're doing a really lovely morning at 180 and we're gonna have matcha Pilates and I'm also having a lymphatic drainage which I'm so excited for I've always wanted to try one of these I'm literally just wearing my classic gym wear try and be a bit city chic so I've just got on my sweaty betty usual gym attire an oversized frankie blazer and i've just put on some hair bands on the side so i can hold it up and then i've just invested in a couple of MS cashmere cardigans and jumpers because these are just divine and they're the best things ever i would very highly recommend investing in these so yes yeah, so i've got a really lovely morning last night was really fun as well at dear darling to celebrate the new launch of Givenchy's new fragrance which i'll leave down below because it's so beautiful and if you've smelled their fragrances before this is very different it's very musky and a bit more i'd say a bit unisex but this is my little outfit for a bougie little pilates morning so like i said uh, sweaty Betty, MS Cashmere, Frankie Shop, Blazer, and then my new Pillen bag, which has got all my lovely little bits and bobs in there. It was such a lovely day shooting yesterday. Had so much fun. And do you know what? It, it gave me a bit of a back to school vibes because basically I did a. Um, I basically refreshed what was in my bag because I knew I was doing an interview for it. So I just elevated it a little bit and it felt like I was back to school getting a new bag and a pencil case and I was getting all the new bits and bobs. And my little what's in my bag just feels so good at the moment. It's just divine. So let's head off to a very lovely event with Bryony Deary and the CGC team. So yeah, this is my little outfit. Very cute. Very cutesy.
just did a really lovely Pilates class and a sound bath which was really lovely. I actually have never used Briony's app before and that was so good, it was literally 30 minutes and it was so intense, I absolutely loved it and you know I love my Pilates so I definitely think I'm going to download it because then you can do it in the ease of your home, you can do it in your pyjamas, it's just delightful. But now I'm going to go and grab some food before my lymphatic drainage.